you're a hockey player looking to take your speed to the next level, this is the video for you. What's going on guys, Kyle here for Relentless Hockey and today we're going to go over the best speed exercises for hockey players to develop that explosive first step. This is so important in today's modern game because it's all about how fast you can get going in your first three to five steps. It's not all about the long speed anymore, it's all about that rapid acceleration that's really going to take your game to the next level. So today we're going to go over some of our favorites that we're using with both our peewee and our pro players that are all designed to take your game and your speed to the next level. Alright, so before we dive in, it's important to understand that there's two components to speed on the ice. So our first one is stride frequency. It's how fast we get our feet moving. And this is why a lot of hockey players focus on their quick feet, which is justifiably so. This is a huge component to getting faster. But the second component is our stride power. So how much power can we actually generate in the ice that's going to propel us forward? And so that is what we're going to be focusing on primarily today is how much power we can get in these exercises and how it's going to translate on the ice. So our first exercise is super basic. We could consider this entire video almost as like one speed workout that you could take to the field with you or you can chunk them. You could take one of your favorite exercises from here and add it to your existing speed training. But for our sake, we're going to do it in one sequence. And so this would almost be considered our warm up. And so we call this exercise power skips. We're going to be focusing on how much power we can express in a single leg every single time to try and get as high as I can. So for me, I'm going to go about 10 yards here and just focus on generating as much power as I can getting super, super high and super athletic. So I want to end this movement with a full triple extension. So I have not only my hip has fired, my glute has fired, but right through the knee and right into the ankle. So I'm getting right off that calf, which is so important for hockey players. So you're going to do this for about 10 yards. Focus on your power skips, getting as much height as we can before we get into our next exercise. All right, our next exercise here is called a skater change. And so this is an exercise that's actually not all about how much power we can express, but how much power can we express back? How can we get that recovery foot back under our body so that we can express power of the next leg. So I'm getting set up here on a line and I have my low athletic position. I'm out like I just made a full stride length and then I'm going to be changing over as fast as I can to the other leg. So this is super important that I'm not getting tall. We're practicing these proper mechanics where I'm getting super nice and low as if I'm about to make a nice powerful stride in my first steps. So for our sake, we're going to stay nice and low and then we're just going to be changing out. We're going to focus on around 12 reps total, really focusing on that power. How fast can I get over? All right, our next exercise and the next couple exercises are going to be focused on our crossover start. So this is so valuable for hockey players because the majority of our starts are from like that stop position and I'm going back with that crossover. And so we're going to tease that out by actually getting specifically into that crossover for this exercise. So I'm going to get started out getting nice and low and loaded. I feel as if I'm, I've loaded all of my weight into a spring in my hip. And then as soon as I'm ready to rock and roll, I'm driving off as fast as I can. Now I, I can focus on having my reset here, but for us, we really just want to focus on how explosive can I make my first one to get over. So really firing from that hip and generating that nice strong push before I'm getting reset. All right. So we're going to focus here on 10 reps, really focusing on the first one. If you if you feel like you can find that position for the next one, you can go back and just focus it on as, as much power as possible. But we really want to see that first push. How explosive can we get? All right. Our next exercise here is a crossover step into a skater hop. And so this is so valuable because for hockey players, as they hit that explosive crossover, they need to find that position to have that completely loaded up before I get into my next one. And so for our first three to five steps, it's all about how we can get explosive and loading into that, those legs. So I'm going to get set up in a line here and then I'm going to focus on finding my nice tall position where I, I have my, my torso upright, I'm loaded down in my hip and then as soon as I'm ready I have my jump and then a second jump as well. So I'm really loading up here. I want to make sure that I'm making that strong push here in my first jump but as I can see as I'm ready to load up that second one I'm low and loaded. My hips is acting like a spring so that I can fire into my next jump. Don't focus on the landing. Don't worry about it. Just focus on power, power and then releasing. Make sure your every single step here is getting as aggressive as possible. All right, so we're gonna take that crossover position that we've been working on and translate it into a sprint now. We're only gonna be focusing on our first couple steps, so not even really five yards. It's just how explosive can we get in those first steps. So I'm get, getting low and loaded right away, and then I could almost start on a single leg. And so for our elite and pro level guys, we'll focus on starting up on a single leg so that we can really exaggerate that first push. But we could get set up in, in either version today. So let's call it our double leg version for now. I'm nice and tall in my torso. I'm loaded up in my hip, and then as soon as I'm ready to rock and roll, I have that explosive push and then I'm just focusing on my first five yards. So you should be focusing on not only that first push, how much power can I generate in that first one, 
but then I, I get my one, two, three off as explosively as possible. This is all about that explosiveness. Really get those steps in and get aggressive. All right, this next exercise is all about generating that power from that crossover push. So we're gonna exaggerate it here by getting into a half kneel. And so this is an opportunity to express as much power from that hip as possible. So if players are struggling with kind of having that pop up, this is the exercise we find that absolutely fixes that by focusing on generating that power out, which is what it's all about here. We wanna make sure that we're not leaking any power by coming up and out. It's all going out. So I'm making sure that I'm gonna get set up in my half kneel. I'm nice and strong, nice and powerful. I've loaded up into that hip, and then as soon as I'm ready to fire, I'm loading and I'm exploding off that hip right into my first steps. So this exercise is forcing that kind of low hip flexed hip position here where I'm gonna be generating that power. So really focus on that. How much power can I get out of that first step? And then I'm right into my next couple. Get low, get aggressive here and really drive those hips right out into a crossover start. And so this next exercise is all about taking some speed and translating it elsewhere. So in our case, we're gonna be focusing on the crossover start again, but I'm gonna be focusing on just having one crossover the opposite direction I'm sprinting and then loading and going. So this is so important because hockey players, so much of our speed is about changing direction, how I have my stop and I'm going back the other way. And so we need to be practicing the movement mechanics that translate into that movement. So I'm gonna be focusing on getting set up right away. I'm gonna focus on just one crossover and then as soon as I hit it, I'm ready to get going the other way. So as you can see, what we're, at, we're not really focusing on this crossover. I'm not too worried about it, but what I am focusing is how I load up here, how I'm finding a position. My hip is super flexed. I'm not leaking any power up. I'm ex ready to express it completely out and getting into my first three to five steps. So really exaggerate that. For your first couple reps, almost go through slow, where I have a step and go, and then as you start to get faster, really focus on finding that position and generating even more speed. Three to five reps here per side, really get into it, really get aggressive. All right, our next exercise here is a counter movement crossover to sprint. So I'm gonna be focusing on having a little bit of a shuffle. I'm probably gonna come off my line by around five yards here. I'm staying nice and low, and then as soon as my inside leg hits that line, I've found a position to take my speed elsewhere. So this is all about how can you generate speed from an alternating position. So I'm taking the speed I have going this way and I'm expressing it out that way. And this is what it's all about. How do you find that plant position and that translate position without standing up? We wanna make sure at no point am I finding a tall position and getting out into it, I'm ready to explode as soon as I've hit that line. Next exercise here is all about how we're expressing in our first three to five steps. So instead of focusing on the crossover start, which is still the majority of our starts, we're gonna be focusing on a straight line start this time. So I'm gonna get set up on a single leg here and I'm ready to move. I'm ready to get explosive. I'm nice and low and loaded. I've loaded up my spring. And then I'm basically just gonna have one jump as if I've made my, my stride. So just like I would on ice, I have a step. I'm gonna be focusing on one kind of movement and then Practicing where I'm loading up my body, ready to move here. I'm nice and low. I've, I've, I've kind of t created all that tension in my lower body that I can now express right into a sprint. So again, we're not so much focused here on this jump. This is kind of as if I was making a long stride. I'm kind of in like a passive movement and then I need to hit the, hit the gas and go. So I'm gonna get loaded up, I have my jump, and then how fast can I get those first three to five steps? And this is where all the magic happens. It's when you hit the gas, how fast can you get off the line? Those are some of our favorite exercises for hockey players to really begin to develop that explosive first step speed. And so in today's modern game, this is so essential. Not only do you have that crossover speed, but you have the change of direction speed that's really gonna take your game to the next level and make you explosive on the ice. All right guys, so if you're looking for more training content, head over to relentlesshockey.com where we have tons of different training articles, videos, and our explosive program completely designed for hockey players to take their explosive power to the next level. Get out there and get relentless. Mm.